Hello, good afternoon, good morning. Chris in San Diego, Diego with her master's in cybersecurity. So I wanted you to meet her. So you guys can start us off. We're trying to log in. We're actually at the Hamilton High School. And we can't get on their internet, so we're on our phones right now. So as soon as we can get this figured out, we'll have this thing better configured. But uh, will I say hello to myself? Hi, how are you Hi, doing? Hi, How are you doing? Yeah, okay, let me see how you can say In IT? Yeah. Okay, we're trying to get online. You can configure us here. Good morning, JP. Good morning. Oh, this is crazy. Okay, hold on for a second, JP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make you the co-host. Not for anything. You don't have to say anything, but we had a couple of people come on and they bounced off. So I don't know if they're going to come back in. But if you can, just let everybody know that um, we're Dakar. Apprenticeship program and welcome you to a end of year recap of our apprenticeship. Okay, Shane, you just got in. So I'm recording this. So okay. you guys say, 
is going to be part of our edit for all the things that we can actually put in as sound bites, as things that you guys can say about what um, could be thoughts, reflections, what you saw, heard, and even felt this year. Yeah. What we'll take away is what can you guys tell us about what you'd like to see happening this summer and into the fall semester. Those are the most important things right now is that we can get sound bites from you guys to add to our audio. So we're recording this thing. So we should get some good audio. That's the most important. For sure. How, how big is the call? It's not that big. I mean, I've got, I had two other people on that jumped off. So I don't I only care about you guys. And there's a gentleman by the name of Torrance Brandon that's going to be coming on. So this is really more for our, our internal team. And if anybody else joins, they'll be able to see what we, who we are. And that's the most important thing. Can't believe right. it. So that's fine. And go get some equipment out of the car. So what I'm going to do is if you can, and this is going to start us off, JP. And in this order, JP, Mariah, Shane, and Linda give us thoughts and reflections about what you've seen, heard, and felt about this year's activities and what we want to do moving for the summer. So take a couple of minutes and just, you know, kind of talk off the top of your head of what it is that um, you felt. And I think at this point, right now, you're the only. Right now, you're the only. You're the only person right You're now. The only person right now, JP, that's not here. Everybody, hold on. I'm I'm hearing echoes, Kevin. Yeah, so, yeah, I can't so. understand you. Hold on. I'm hearing echoes. I'm hearing not echoes. Yeah. Only one of us in this room should have our audio mics open at a time. Yeah. So, Kevin, either you or Shane need to have your audio on, but not both. Okay, how about now? No audio. Okay, no echo now. Correct. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so I'm going to do some formal introductions, and then I'm going to jump off um, for a few minutes. This is the May 30th, end of year. Recap for our Dakar apprenticeship program. We're here on location at Hamilton High School. We'll be conducting at 12 noon to 12.45, a program that will be the finale for the Princess to Queen Black Student Achievement Plan program. But before we jump um, into that, I wanted to introduce some of the people that have been part of the crew for the Dakar Apprenticeship Program. And I'm gonna go uh, first with JP. If JP can introduce yourself, and again, briefly, not briefly, just take some time, talk about what you saw, what you felt, what you heard about this year's activities, and again, what you would think is your capstone dream project moving forward. So I'm gonna jump off and let you take it from there. And next will be Mariah, and then Shane, and then Linda, you'll introduce yourself after Shane. Alrighty, well, good morning, everyone. It's nice to see all of you guys again. Um, sorry, I can't be on the camera right now. I'm having some issues, but um, but yeah. So this is the end of the year uh, recap for Dakar Foundation. Um, I've been with under Kevin Clark's wing since uh, December of last year, and honestly, all I can say is that it's been definitely a a joyride <laughs> of different events and learning and building on the skills that I've had so far um, in, in when it comes to my filmmaking. You know, one of the biggest things that Kevin has taught me is definitely my confidence in my work, you know, um, especially when it comes to doing all these other freelance projects outside of the apprenticeship program that I can continue doing. Um, is lo the level of confidence that I've had when I first started versus now, like, 
it has skyrocketed ever since then. And now I'm actually able to charge, you know, um, these clients that I have a better fair price that I believe that my skills are worth, especially with my time, you know, um, Kevin, and this is all because of how Kevin has taken myself as well as the rest of the other apprentices to all these events that he's taken us to, whether it be at, you know, he's taken me to Brick Summit at Netflix, uh, Microsoft and to do some filming there. And then, you know, a couple, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Kevin Hart's new film studio to do an event there. And even though I kind of showed up just to mainly do more of um, camera work instead of just video editing and just, just being there in the room, having the opportunity to, to, to make myself out there, to expose myself to new people, to network, and to just be able to, to talk. Talk to people that can really make a difference in my success in the Hollywood film industry. So, you know, a big thank you to Kevin and everyone else at Dakar, whether the other fellow apprentices or other mentors, you know, I'm very appreciative of everyone in our collective duty that has come together to be able to create something awesome, you know, and one of the future projects that I hope to, to do under the Dakar Foundation is to hopefully either make my own little short film to tell my own kind of, short story or to work on a bigger project you know um, my my goal is progress you know again ever since i started i've seen an upward trend in my skills and my confidence and my and levels that kevin has helped taught and um teach me i mean and i want to keep going i want to keep growing getting better and hopefully one day work on something that will definitely make a really big impact in the community around us so yeah thank you that's my little thank you for listening to my little five minute ted talk <laughs> mariah you want to go shane anyone else yeah i believe mariah yeah. is next and yeah right. yeah i go um hello everyone my name is mariah I'm here with Kevin and Shane as well, but the connection is a little bit shaky right now, but um, I'm just really fortunate and blessed enough to even be a part of this foundation and even be a men uh, mentee. Um, I just wanna thank everyone who has, who has contributed to my um, efforts and contributed to my learning and me just developing new skills and just learning in any aspect that I can. Um, I think that, being in this apprenticeship program, it has really allowed me to build up my self-esteem, my confidence, and it allowed it, it had allowed me to manage my time while I contribute to helping anybody who else has been in the um, a part of the Dakar Foundation. And so I think that Kevin having that mentality of building the apprentices from the ground up really shows like yeah. really shows him how not only does he see the vision, but he also sees the potential in, in each and every one of us that can potentially mold us into whatever we want to be, right? For me, I'm um, interested in being a cybersecurity practitioner, um, mainly focused on digital forensics. And so I think that even though I'm still in school, right, um, and, I'm, and being part of this foundation, he still has given me, you know, the 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 high ends and everything that I need to know in order to continue with my journey. Um, I think that I was able to gain practical experience and have that hands-on experience that I never, you know, that I never had before. I think that me dealing with different cameras and coming to different events and just seeing how inspirational that is and um, being in rooms where. I know this can potentially be me one day and may per perhaps maybe having an apprenticeship program on my own and just having, uh, you know, other um, mentors or, or mentees. And so uh, I just really want to appreciate everybody for contributing to my success. And I just want to know that before I was in the program, I really didn't know what my purpose was. 
but I learned that our purpose isn't given to us, right? Um, in the manual, when we come into this world, um, our purpose is only discovered by finding those meaningful ideas and those goals that you need to find in order to get where you are. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Mariah. Okay, next we have up Shane, then we're gonna Linda, and then we're gonna go to Torrance. All right, perfect. Hope you all can hear me okay. Is that yes? All right, perfect. Well, my name is Shane Hyman with Next Level Global Solutions and uh, a proud partner of the Dakar Foundation and a participating mentor uh, with the apprenticeship program. And it is just so wonderful to participate in this apprenticeship program and, and see all the young people really gaining so much through some hands-on experience. And when you look at, you know, video creation and editing, it's really just one part. You know, it's really refreshing to see how everyone can get exposed to many different facets of production, you know, and you know where it can take you. And through the Dakar Foundation, it opens up opportunity for folks to get into the room, get exposed uh, to professionals and, um, you know, what they're doing in the professional world just by capturing it you know, and being able to edit it as well. So uh, it's such a great opportunity and, and I'm looking forward to everything else to come. And uh, one thing that I, that I am also looking forward to is, you know, integrating a couple other resources into the program, such as financial literacy and some mental health, you know, training programs through personal development and, you know, just technology, you know, something that could be done on everyone's free time and uh, just adding to the overall experience. But uh, it really is great just seeing everything that's happening and su such growth, you know? So I'm even growing to uh, participating and helping out in any way possible. And um, it's just, uh, it's really great. So I'm looking forward to everything and I wanna congratulate um, all of the apprentices that have been working hard and learning and growing because it truly does reflect you know, you can see it, you know, um, it's something that's quantifiable, you know, as far as what what you guys are doing. So I just want to tip my hat to you guys and, and encourage you every step of the way because uh, you're really going places. So uh, that's all I have to say for now. And this is Shane Hyman signing off. Thanks. OK, thank you, Shane. OK, the next person up is Linda. She has been a wonderful advocate and supporter of the Dakar apprenticeship program, but you now she's also a person who's been selfless because she knows what to do to serve. She served the country um, as a vet in the Marine, and she's participated in veterans programs with us. And so I'm happy to introduce Linda. And then from Linda, we're gonna go to Torrance, the man who brought us through this opportunity we have now. So Linda, if you can introduce yourself. Good morning, Linda. Sam Morgan, Marine Sergeant Veteran. I am um, a veteran sergeant. I am definitely appreciative of being a part of seeing all the activities that all of you young folks have brought to the car. I see all the videos that you produce. I watch them intensely. Um, Kevin in this apprenticeship program is something that he talked about Oh, he's been talking about for years and to see it actually come into life with actual young people that we can see and, and see the work that you're doing is amazing. Um, and I know that you'll only do more. You'll continue to grow as you put forth the efforts that you need for yourselves to continue. And I look forward to being there to be a support in any way that I can as a reach out and as a resource. Thank you, Kevin. You're doing a great job with this program and great that uh, you're now at the Hamilton location for the Princess to Queen, um, where Tori is doing a phenomenal job with that program. So I'm awesome. I know I'm in good company and I look forward to great things from all of you. Great, thank you, Linda. Okay, and now I wanna set up the, um, the introduction of a a young man who has recently been added to my list of favorite people to be around. Um, his program, Family Soul, um, was introduced to me by Linda. 
um, I think almost six months ago at the City Club in Los Angeles. And uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to um, uh, present to his group that was uh, called Be a Man, Be a Man. Um, and I talked a little bit about, um, you know, our apprenticeship program to his group. Um, I think we have some young men who were interested in working with us. And uh, I look forward to engaging them potentially this summer um, where we can, you know, get these people signed up and they can earn money. Uh, to learn from us how to um, become not only men, but how to become um, whatever they want to be. Um, so without further ado, I want to introduce uh, Torrance Brennan from Family Soul. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning. Yeah, we can hear you fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Kevin, thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, I really, really value our partnership, uh, the spirit in which you operate and the love that you have for young people. I share that same love and that same passion. And I think that's what it's gonna take to turn young lives around. And when you're talking to young people, you know they can tell whether or not you're sincere or whether you're just doing a job. And I've never seen you do a job. I don't do a job. We do what we were put here to do. And I think, God for the blessing of being in front of young people, being around young people. Uh, also because it keeps me young, so I still got muscles and stuff growing, so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I've been running the program See a Man, Be a Man and Princess the Queen now for about 28 years. And I'm very, very excited about the future of being able to not only talk to young people, but listen to them, find out what their needs are, find out what their dreams are. It turns me on as a human being to help other human beings achieve their goals and their dreams. You know, and the older you get, the more you look back and you say, wow, you know, I could have done that, so I could have done that. And so to have an opportunity to have young people have their dreams come true is a great thing. And the world of work is something that's gonna be critically important to them. Learning how to be there on time, learning how to be responsible, learning how to work as a team, all these things are critical. So. Uh, these opportunities to do the internships or the apprenticeships are critically important to their development. The earlier they get started, particularly young Black folks, the better their lives are going to be. As a youngster, I was in boarding school uh, at the age of you know, 10, 11 years old. And that teaching that I learned at 10, 11 years old set the stage for the rest of my life. Do your chores. Get up on time. You know. Um, you learn how to communicate, learn how to look people in the eye and shake their hand. You know, all of those fundamental things that don't seem important or critically important. And those are the things that we're sharing with the young people. Uh, the affirmations that we do are designed to do whatever else go on, is going on in our lives in terms of values and stuff like that. These values, these nine themes that we espouse are there to, to add to that and to give them a sense of a value system you know, something to be proud of and, and something to not only be proud of in terms of just, you know, mouthing the words, but to actually, you know, articulate themselves in their lives, spiritually, culturally, economically, politically, in terms of their health uh, and stuff like that. So if a young person comes in, for example, and they're drinking soda and I see it happen two and three days, you know, and they got chips and stuff like that. You know, we talk, we talk about that stuff and give them alternatives and you know, ask them to drink more water and stuff like that. So the nine principles that we espouse are really, um, you know, life, life guiding, guiding points of life that they can use for the rest of their lives. And so I'm just, again, very honored to be in the presence of people who really love and really care for young people. Linda Sam is one for her. Uh, we wouldn't be at this school. Uh, I wouldn't have met Kevin. And so sister, I really appreciate you for always looking out always being concerned and, uh, and always being involved. <laughs> You're very involved, I appreciate that. Mr. Hyman, it's nice meeting you. Um, and the other gentleman, I'm not gonna attempt to pronounce his name, but JP, I think. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you too, sir. All right, I didn't wanna get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're all good, everyone always gets it wrong. It's, I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, well, I, people usually call me Terrence too, and you know, that's not my name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all good it's all good yeah. so yeah i didn't want to over talk but uh thanks for the opportunity of being here today i have a couple of crises going on right now 
uh, in my family, but I, I, I couldn't miss today and stuff uh, to be here to, to coalesce with you guys. Great. And I'm going to share the screen uh, in a few minutes, but I, I do want to, you know, kind of punctuate what Torrance said and, and what everybody said thus far. Um, this has been probably the most, ooh, I don't even know if I have words for it. Uh, with all the things happening in my life, um, this is probably the most compelling moment for me to share with you guys that I couldn't be more proud and um, excited about the future. But our past, let's say, year has been historic. And we've got so much stuff in the can that will allow us to kind of switch this together in a way where we want to share the history of Dakar, Family Soul, Linda, JP, Shane, his organization, into something that will be a fabric for other people to see what folks can do when they collaborate, when they put the kids first, and when they really put, you know, their heart into it more than, you know, their intellect or their capability. And so, you know, again, for anybody that will see the finished product, uh, I hope that they will be able to understand um, that, you know, heart is everything. You know, you only have one opportunity in this, in this particular life, in this heart that you have to do something to have impact on somebody other than yourself, especially people who need you the most getting a little emotional right now, but I can honestly say that the young people that I've met on this call uh, and the people, you know, that supported the, um, the young people, um, I'll never forget you. And I, I want to hold you up in the highest, you know, of, of, of standards of, of people who, you know, need to be, you know, really be recommended for, you know, some type of uh, commendation because you guys are very, in very short supply. So. You know, with that being said, uh, you know, any questions, suggestions, or comments before I play uh, a little video until we get to uh, the 12 noon hour, I'm going to play some video of some of the things that we've done um, in the last um, last year and specifically with um, the BSAP program, Princess the Queen. So anybody else have anything before we share screen and, and go to video? Okay, well, let me put some stuff up here. These are some of uh, our moments. Got a lot of stuff on the screen here, but this is some of our, our work we're gonna put up. Actually, I'm gonna go to YouTube because that way I can get there quicker. Oh, and this is for, uh, for Linda. Linda, do you have anything to say about Memorial Day? Because that's a very important part of uh, Dakar's um, mission is to be able to recognize people who serve um, our country. Um, oh, okay. And before I make you co-host, Linda, anything that you can do to give us any statements about Memorial Day or Veterans Day? Well, thank God we have post-production. We'll be editing this. <laughs> so, Linda, are you still with us? And I, I did want to recognize that uh, Torrance also is a, uh, a veteran. Um, Torrance, anything you want to say about service to the country and, and any experience you had with, um, you know, serving others other than yourself? Well, yeah, I just think it's critically important that we recognize that every human being in this country recognize the importance of military people, veterans, people who have served this country, because without those people, you wouldn't be enjoying the freedoms that you are. I know it sounds cliche, it sounds like something you hear all the time, but when you really think about it, right, if we don't protect this country, none of us can work a job, none of us can go to, you know, parties and whatever we're doing in our lives, you know, and, and I think that every uh, business in this, in this uh, country should always make sure that they recognize veterans and they have uh, discounts and stuff like that. Make them feel good because they put their lives on the line for you. That's all I have to say, man. I could say a whole lot more, 
but this is such a huge topic and we don't have time to really go into it. Okay, great. Well, I'm gonna play, this is one of my favorite moments. Um, I'm gonna put this one up here and hopefully you can hear it. I can't hear it, Kevin. You needed to share the sound, Kevin, when you share the screen. Where is it in? Where is it? When you share screen, right there to the left is a button that'll say show sound. Holistic health. Holistic health. In balance. In balance. Family. Family. I will raise my children. I will raise my children. Protect my family. Protect my family. And work hard in my community. And work hard in my community. Personal responsibility. Personal responsibility. Now you have to point at yourself. Personal responsibility. Personal responsibility. I am empowered. I am empowered. You control me. Control me. Let me. Let you and your about to There's something else there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Wow. Introducing the Google Pixel Again, thank 7A. You guys for it's editing. Own. That was one of my favorite moments, but let me see if we can play a couple more a little longer so that we can get ourselves prepared for today but that was one of my favorite moments passionately persevere um let's see here's another one attention to the board here it's the crux of our program the foundation of our program which i have to tell you guys have been very successful uh, particularly in the last nine years of young black males. Um, you guys ever heard of Lock High School? Yeah, that's that's been uh oh, the Wi-Fi is getting it for the guys. In the primary school for the last nine years, but at any rate, I don't have a lot of time to talk. I'd like you to go to the, the empty page, the next page in your journal. I'd like you to draw this in your in your page, in your journal. Um, it's nine circles here. Again, in post-production, we're going to fix it. Of course, that's the name of the program. We call it PTQ. Uh, the first word is spirituality, culture, because I don't write that well. <laughs> Career, education, economics, politics, health, family. And number nine is personal responsibility. If you can't understand my handwriting. But if you can draw those bubbles, that's nine bubbles, and draw those words in the bubbles. Um, and as you see in between everything, Number one here is vision, goals, objectives, and outcomes. Vision, goals, objectives, and outcomes. As you uh, are writing out talk, because we, again, don't have a lot of time, uh, everyone should have a vision. Um, Beyonce. Beyonce had a vision. I remember when she was in this group called, uh, who's in that group? She was yeah, in that group. Yeah. Yes, Michelle. Y'all remember everybody who was in that group in the first? I don't remember the names of the people who was in the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends what group, it depends which one. Okay, so that's another moment. Let's see if we can find a few more. And again, guys, this is going to be a presentation we're going to edit, but it literally becomes just a way for me to share some of the things that I believe will impact not only the young ladies, but some of the, um, the parents. And the faculty have been a part of this. Oh, I know. So majority pepperoni, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get some more. I'm going to stop it. We're going to just keep it going right now. Just set it on the table. I'm going to move it along a little bit, guys. Okay, 
I need some more plates. <laughs> okay, everybody get themselves ready for a show, okay? So my name is Mr. Kevin. A lot of you guys have seen me here day one. I've been doing a lot of videotaping here. I'm going to introduce Mariah. She's going to actually introduce our speakers for today. Okay? Does anybody have any questions before we start? Because I want you guys to be active. I'll just be sitting here eating pizza. Anybody have any questions before we start? What's today's topic? Well, the topic's are really going to be speakers who are going to share with you their journeys and why they got in this classroom because they are literally here invited by me. But the topic is going to be them sharing with you how they got here as individuals. Anybody else have any other questions? Okay, so I'm going to introduce you. The person is going to bring on the show. This young lady here, I'm very proud of her. She just graduated from the University of San Diego. So give her a round of applause. I'm going to have her introduce herself, but she is my mentee, but she's also my employee through an apprenticeship program. Her journey here has been a very, very, very yeah. winding road. It's not been a straight road to her behavior. So without further ado, I want to introduce some right behind you. Give her a round of applause. Yeah! Whether that's on the IoT, Internet of Things device. 
So this is very, this is very, this is a very special moment for me, and I'm, I'm glad that the cameras are rolling because I have four other people that work for me uh, that have been part of this journey for the last year. Um, some of the people that um, I want to introduce you to today have been part of this journey. Um, the first person I want to have introduce themselves, um, come up and speak about um, our journey uh, is Candice Tucker. Um, and Candice is an amazing Candice. I, count, I, I kind of mix her up with Jay Tucker, who introduced me to her. But Candace is a person who has been part of our journey. She's um, spoken at some of the events that we've actually uh, captured um, for our apprentices. Um, Candace is going to speak to you guys about her journey. And I hope that you guys have some questions for her, not just have her talk about her journey. Um, so without further ado, Candace. initially and um, when they couldn't take on the responsibility I ended up in foster care so I navigated living in foster care for a good chunk of my childhood into my formative years where I was becoming a young adult young person um, kind of similar to the years that you guys are forming into young adults as well and I had to, a lot to figure out during that time so um, during that time, I was navigating foster care lifestyle and in school and trying to think about what am I gonna do with my life and my future. And the one thing that I realized is that no matter what, I wanted to get out of the situation that I was in. So it was most important that I pursued um, a life that was different than the one that I was living. And I just remember thinking when I was a kid, oh, when I get older, all of these adults are making bad decisions on my behalf. I can't wait to make decisions on my own behalf and for my own life so that my life can be different. And so that's what I committed to myself and that's what I was determined to do. I didn't want to be a statistic and, and default back into whatever society said a foster kid or someone who comes from a marginalized or a bad background um, would become or would, you know, would turn out to be. So. I aspire for more, and um, what that led me to is my career now in the live concert and touring production company, I mean industry, sorry. Um, are you guys familiar with the touring and concert business? Yeah, have you ever been to a concert? Anybody ever been to a concert? You like going to concerts? Interested in concerts? Yeah, so I work um, to produce them. So what that does, what that means is I help um, work with artists, agents, managers, um, talent producers to ideate and come up with what they want their concert or tour vision to look like, and then I come up with a plan for that. I devise the markets and the timeline and um, help with the marketing and help with the tickets and put the tickets on sale on Ticketmaster and um, then help the show go up, right? Um, so there's a lot of moving parts and pieces involved in that, and I don't do it all by myself, but I lead the charge in You're on mute, Kevin. Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop the Zoom for the purpose of now is we're in production mode and we're gonna reconnect to the Zoom in 15 minutes when we actually start the, um, the Princess to Queen program. So again, thank you guys. We're gonna edit this stuff, but this is literally, again, stuff we need for uh, review and to share with anybody who wants to know who and how we uh, we do business. So again, thank you guys and reconnect if you want to in 15 minutes. All right, thank you guys. All right, sounds good. All right. <laughs> 